Bonjour. If you're not French and if you have watched the Olympic Games recently, you are probably wondering what the hell is going on in France. And believe me, I'm French and you have a right to ask. While I was watching the Olympic Games, as a French woman, I was wondering to myself, what the heck? This is not France. This is not the country I was born into. I didn't recognize my country. I didn't recognize, you know, the beautiful culture of France and I was still wondering what the heck. Because instead of showing the grandiosity of Paris and the beautiful culture of France, because yes, we have the most beautiful culture in the world, two billion of people have seen a lack of class, a total lack of class, some highly kitsch spectacle and the most controversy is seen to the point that the Olympic Committee has to apologize to millions of Christians in the world. I'm Alice, I'm French, and in this video, I will tell you what I think about this opening ceremony as a French woman, how it is perceived right now in France, and what French people do really think about this opening ceremony. The first moment I want to go over is when the American singer Lady Gaga opened the ceremony with a song from Zizi Jean Mer, Mon Truc en Plume, in a tribute to Cabaret and Musical. Zizi Jean Mer is a very famous singer here in France. She's as famous and as iconic as Edith Piaf. Actually, she was a ballet dancer in the beginning of the early 20th century. She was born in Paris and became the most famous dancers here in Paris and in France. Mon truc en plume is also an iconic French song, okay? This is extremely French. We are into the French stereotype, actually. A very French stereotype performed by a very American woman. Bravo Lady Gaga, she did an amazing job also to sing in French. And I know that for an American person to speak French is not easy. She also made a lot of effort with the pronunciation. You know, she tried to really, really pronunciate in French when she said, Alors, bonjour à Paris. À Paris. She tried, you know, to put the end like we do in French. I know it's extremely hard in English, and especially for an American, the end, the en français is very, very hard. My point is not to, you know, criticize Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. I love America. A little disclaimer, I love America. But I want to question uh, maybe the choice of Lady Gaga. It's a French opening ceremony. It's in Paris, actually. Okay, this is the opportunity to really show our country, to show our tradition, our culture, and maybe, yes, our stereotype, and there's nothing wrong about it, okay? So I don't understand why, you know, going to the stereotype and choosing an American, an American to perform a French song, which is extremely iconic, extremely French, um, I just want to question why, why they didn't choose, you know, a French. We have so many great French singers, very traditional, very, very good. And I think I just want to question the fact that why do we need to select uh, an American singer while we could have a French one? The second biggest moment of the ceremony was where Aya Nakamura, the French singer, was also singing with the Republican Guard. So if you don't know Aya Nakamura, she's one of the most popular French singers here in France. And apparently, I didn't know that, but apparently she's also one of the most popular French francophone singer in the world. She performed a medley of her own song, actually very pop, very modern, a little bit streetwear. And she also performed a song made and written by Charles Aznavour. The performance was super interesting, but to be honest with you, at some point, I feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit embarrassed about what I saw, actually. And I want to tell you why. The Republican Guard is very traditional, okay? This is the guardian of the Republic. This is the army side of the Republic. It is extremely traditional, extremely formal. And I think we have to show respect. I don't know why, but maybe if you think like me, at some point, I really felt that 
There is a mockery of the, of the Republican Guard, kind of mockery actually. I, I don't I don't know why, but I didn't feel it super right. At some point, I felt it too much. Actually, when they had to dance with the singer, and I don't know why, but I felt it. I have to tell you, I have to be honest with you. I felt like there is a kind of mockery. Okay, this is not the right place for the Republican Guard. Now the next scene I want to go over. But the scene is very interesting because it takes place in a castle that also mimics the French Revolution. And at some point, I think this moment became extremely controversial. At some point, you can see a big focus on a Marie Antoinette with her head cut off. You cannot understand the French culture, the French mindset, if you don't understand the French Revolution and what French people went through, actually, because it's a big, big thing here in France. And explains also why there's a huge and deep socialism here in France. The French Revolution took place in Paris, so it's a big, big thing. But the endless, <laughs> the endless Marie Antoinette, I didn't find it super beautiful and it wasn't, I would say, necessary to make a big focus on this morbid scene. Some people in France were extremely, I would say, shocked and said that it was disrespectful to the king and to the French history. But to be honest with you, I don't think this is a big thing because, you know, the monarchy here and the queen and the kings of France, it's not such a big thing. And it's not as big as, for example, England, uh, because, you know, they are still in, the, in this tradition of monarchy. It's not the case here in France. We went over it a few, a few centuries uh, ago. And now I think you wait for it. I'm going to go over the highest controversial moment of this opening ceremony and it's viral okay this scene went viral and i think this moment was extremely shameful for france actually and again it does not represent the majority of french people it does not represent france does not represent france at all so many french people were shocked disagree with what uh, they saw and you know two billion of people now can see that France is not really France anymore of course Paris will always be Paris I think it was extremely disrespectful total lack of class but to be honest with you this whole opening ceremony was not elegant not classy not what I believe you know in this channel it's all about the French aesthetic Paris it's the way I live, actually. I love uh, elegant things, and I do believe that in Paris, we do things differently compared to the rest of the world. I do believe it. This scene is very close to the last supper, so the last meal of Jesus Christ with all the apostles. This scene features drag queen, transgender model, even a DJ. And at the center stage, a naked blue singer, which is Philippe Catherine. If you don't know who is this guy, this guy is Philippe Catherine. Philippe Catherine is a well-known singer here in France. Only in France, again, this is a Franco-Français Franco singer, meaning that this guy is well-known here in France, but not so well-known, I think, outside of France. Uh, probably in America, you never heard of this guy. This guy is also very provocative. This is a very provocative singer. This is very transgressive, very French. This is the provocative side of France. And the most embarrassing moment is probably when Philippe Catherine tried to stand up and you can see probably everything in the center you know what i mean so it was extremely well and you have to know also that some country decided not to show uh, this picture for example i know that in america uh, you had some ads instead or even the nba uh, nba matches during some time so i will be very interested if you are from america if you were able to see this this moment of this scene, I know that, for example, in Morocco or even Tunisia, they also decided to cut this moment. I will be also interested to know if in the Middle East you were able to see this very, very embarrassing moment. I was glad that people like Elon Musk stood up, actually, because in France, 
when you stood up against this type of thing, when you said such respectful, you should be careful, etc. It's very controversial and people will attack you and put you into a box. And I was glad that someone like Elon Musk, which is a tech entrepreneur and not someone with French. Elon Musk is absolutely not French and I don't think he really understands the French culture, which is totally normal, I think. But I was glad that someone like him stood up and said, this is disrespectful. This is disrespectful for the Christian in the world. And I think, you know, it was disrespectful for anybody. Anybody, Christian, not Christian, French, not French. I felt extremely embarrassed. I was like, how can you explain this is France? How can you explain to someone who lives in the state, who probably expect something classy, elegant, you know, a stereotype. And you see this naked blue thing, actually naked, okay. And when you stand up, you can see pretty much everything. How beautiful is it? Is it classy? Is it classy to say, to, to say something like that? Is it France? Is it really France? So this scene is extremely controversial. Even in France, there's a lot of people who completely disagree, who said that it shouldn't appear. And now the Olympic Committee has to apologize and made formal apologize about it. So I think they now realize that this is wrong and absolutely, absolutely shameful. This part of the ceremony was shameful. And I want to add on an happy note because the most beautiful moment of this ceremony was when the French singer, Canadian French singer, Céline Dion, sing on the Eiffel Tower, Lim à l'amour by Edith Piaf and it was the most beautiful moment of the ceremony. Thank God Céline Dion rescues the whole thing and to the people who said oh, it's cliché stereotype, guess what? This cliché is extremely beautiful. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video about the opening ceremony. I will be very interested to know what you think and what you have think about this ceremony, especially if you are from America, Middle East, you know, people from all over the world. What did you think of this ceremony? Did you think like me? Did you feel embarrassed for France? Do you think it is beautiful, modern, even, even if you were thinking that this ceremony was beautiful, I'm very interested about your opinion. And if you were able also to see uh, from your country when Philippe Catherine was singing, because apparently a lot of countries decided to not show this images, these pictures. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so, so much. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye.